Hi friends, welcome to my channel Behind the Code. In this channel, we are not going to study syntax related to a particular programming language. Instead, we are going to understand the different concepts related to a particular programming language. So let's go to our video. Most of us know operators in Java and we use operators a lot. But most of us doesn't know a lot of concepts related to a particular operator in Java. So in this video, I am going to show you some interesting concepts related to operators in Java. Most of us know the output of system dot out dot print four by zero. Yes, you are right. The output will be an arithmetic exception. That is in Java, division by zero is not allowed. But wait. Then what will be the output of system dot out dot print four point zero by zero? Are you a little bit confused? Don't worry, the output will be infinity. Why the output is infinity? Because four point zero is a double value, and double value divided by zero is infinity in Java. You won't get any arithmetic exception if you divide a double value by zero. Moving to our next question. What will be the value of a after executing this statement? In a is equal to plus plus ten. Do we think it's simple? The value of a will be eleven. Oh no, my friend, it won't be eleven. Wonder why? Because increment or decrement operator can be only applied to variables, and it cannot be applied to constants in Java. You cannot apply. An increment or decrement operator to to a constant. These are basic things related to Java operators, but still we are confused. We are not able to answer uh, this kind of questions when someone asks you, because we mostly study syntax. We don't know the concepts, but here we are going to study the concepts, not the syntax. So please subscribe to my channel because because every week I will publish this kind of interesting videos in this channel. So together we can learn. Uh, this is another interesting question. So we have a variable b with value one, and uh, at the next statement, we are assigning a value plus 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 b to a variable a. So after execution, what will be the value of a? Oh no, who said that the value of a is three? Oh my friend, the value of a will not be three because nesting of increment or decrement operator is not allowed in Java. So next time, if someone asks this question, don't say three. So this is the next question, and we have a variable x with value ten and y with two, and a statement a. We are assigning a value x plus 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 y, and we are printing the value of a, x, and y. So what will be the output? Oh no, there are a lot of plus. Why, bro? You are asking this kind of questions. There are a lot of plus. And maybe it will produce compilation error. I think I'm for sure. I think it will produce compilation error. But for my friend, it will give you this output: twelve, eleven, two. Then why? But why it gives this output? Not compilation error. There are a lot of plus plus. I didn't write this thing in my life. So for such friends, for us, this will look little bit difficult. But for a compiler, it will be like. In a is equal to x plus plus y. Now you think this is simple? Yeah, now it looks simple, right? Because compiler always looks for the longest valid token while parsing the statement. So while while looking at this kind of statements, you should view that in a compiler way. So then it will be more easy. So the compiler will split the statement in a is equal to x plus plus y as a equal x plus plus and y. Now it looks simple, and you can answer. Now you know how we got the output twelve, eleven, two. So this is the way you must learn things in programming language. So now another one. So we have two strings, name one and name two, both have same value roy, and I am just printing whether the value of name one and name two are same or not. So I print name one double equals name two. Plus name one double equals name two. Just simply printing whether name one and name two have same value or not. So what will be the output? What's there in this question? You are just simply wasting my time. This looks very simple, and I am sure that 
the output will be name one double equals name two true what's there in this question you are simply wasting my time hey friend wait if you think that this is the right answer you are wrong so back to our question the output will be false simply false why according to operator president's rule plus operator have higher precedence than double equals operator so here in system dot out dot print name one double equals name two plus name one double equals name two actually we are performing a string concatenation if you look carefully in double quote we we have a string name one double equals name two after that we put a plus operator and after that we have a string variable name one so if you put a plus operator in between two strings that means it's a string concatenation so in reality for a compiler it will looks like system dot out dot print name one double equals name two roy double equals roy so we are comparing two strings name one double equals name two roy and another string roy since these two strings are different we will get an output false now you understood why we get the output false right these are really simple and these are really interesting things in programming languages but we won't get this kind of knowledge outside in another tutorials they will just teach you what is syntax we will learn that syntax or we will just copy paste the code we will compile it run that's all we do but this is the way you should learn you should understand the concepts more clearly it will make you a really really good programmer than a copy paste programmer so we have another question so friend tell me the difference between these two operator oh, i know that these are right shift operator these two are right shift operator but what is the difference between these two right shift operator i will tell you the first one is a logical right shift operator and the second is arithmetic right shift operator and they differ only when they are applied to negative numbers if we apply these two operator to positive numbers we won't get any difference they will give the same result for example in 8 the 8 bit representation of minus 4 is 11111100 and the leftmost bit represent the sign of the number it is the sign bit for negative numbers the value of sign bit will be 1 and for positive numbers it will be 0 so in case of minus 4 arithmetic right shift operator shifting by two time then it will shift the bits by two times and the fill the left side with sign bit so the bit value becomes 11111111 or eight ones and in case of minus 4 logical right shift operator shifting by two times it will shift the bit by two times and the fill and fill the left side with zeros it will not preserve the sign bit so the bit value becomes 0011111 So if you apply logical right shift operator to a negative number the result will be a positive number so this is the main difference what about this operator i know you friend you just started to think complex in a complex way you started to think that it will shift the bits to left side and do some complex thing but friend i'm just kidding there is no such operator in java so thank you for giving me your time For sure I think that this video give you a lot of new knowledge so thank you